Well, hello, people, and welcome back to another episode of Space Astronomy 2 with me, your favorite monkey, Smashkeys. Welcome back. How have you been doing? Sorry I missed a couple days. I was feeling a little sick, but I'm much better now. And now we're going to just record all day. So now you're never going to run out of Smash Keys ever again. Just never me. You're going to always be here. Welcome back. I'm huge. Oh, well, okay. Well, that didn't last. Welcome back. What have we been doing? Well, unfortunately, we've been streaming. So I was prepping. But then because I was playing, we just kept, we just kept going. So we built a lot of things. None of them are finished. So that's kind of the saving grace. So let's let's run around. First of all, knocked out a big hole. Just a big just a big hole. Actually, no, you kind of saw this. I think I think no, this is good. This is good. So what I was doing was I was making floors. Boof. Oh boof. Oh, look how oh beautiful banana base 2.0 is be, being. Look how beautiful this is. So I've kind of mapped it out how I like how. So this is the rooms that we have downstairs on uh, on the white level, right? It's a lot of room. So then we're making them 20, uh, 20 high. So then so here's this level because then you have this huge amount of room. We can have tree farms down here. Basically, I was thinking, okay, one level could be just outside. You know, we'll just have grass and trees and a little little lake and some. I don't know. I just think it'd be kind of cool. But we're gonna have it open. Or we're gonna have a big elevator here. Problem is, I didn't want to build it by hand. So we mapped it out. You can kind of see the little pock marks on the map over here. Oh, I can't. Can I? Maybe E over here. Okay. So there's glowstone up in this bad boy. And then down here, there's glowstone. Ah! God, oh, I scared myself. Oh, I got so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, and then there's no torches because it's all lit up with the glowstone. And then I was like, I don't want to have to do that by hand. So then we made some builders like that. See? You get space chambers from RF tools, and you you make it out. I think it it says it's up to this distance mostly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It can do eight by eight chunks maximum, but of course it has to be on the inside, right? So really, it's doing the biggest. The space chamber can be is eight chunks, eight by eight chunks. So that means. What is that? 8 times 16 is uh, 1,000. So then it, it can do, instead. you'd think, oh, it can do 1,000 by 1,000. But really, it's 1,000 minus 2, because there has to be a space changer here and a space chamber over there. And then 1,000 minus 2, because it's here and there. So really, this isn't being... So really, from here on is being built so it's not going to build these walls which i mean we can build it with a wand it'll be fine so we did so we built this one mostly kind of no we didn't build this one by hand because we built this one by hand and then i realized i'm like this is going to take forever so then we like dug a hole over there and then dug a hole and then dug a hole and then it was like right here so then we built actually i think yeah it was right here so we actually built this and then I was like, oh, I'll, I'll just do it four times, three more times. But then that was a lot of work. So then we just did it up here and said we did one, two, three, auto, auto built it. And then we mapped it and then we were building it down here. And it works kind of. The only problem is the painted glowstone, the, the, the RF tools builder is perfect. It works fine. A little laggy. So we're not going to build it on camera. But the problem is the RF tools builder kind of doesn't care about it, it oh, this is so fast now it doesn't care about the glowstone so everything else it's fine everything else is hunky-dory it's like it's like oh hey you want to put cobblestone here and anti-block here sure i'll do that for you but then 
but then glowstone if if i just threw eight stacks of like this factory glowstone here it would it would do the bottom hunky dory but then it would do the top too because it's just like so that's the only problem you had to do, we, you had to count it out exactly which we did and now i lost the number but so we're gonna have to count it out again it's fine so we have it automatically making this stuff factory block and then we had it automatically making this anti-block because this is easy enough right we'll get a swapper we'll just get our chisel like when we want to do this level we can probably do it right now when we want to do this level we'll get two or three or four stacks of gray anti-block and then we'll just swap out the white and then when we run out of gray we'll chisel the white to gray and then just do it again because it won't automatically make chiseled stuff right same thing with the, the walls and this stuff. We had to, like, stockpile it. But it's fine. Oh, but it's going to be beautiful. But we also... What else did we do? Uh, I was looking because I wanted... I was doing... Mac, oh, no. We were doing mystical agriculture. Oh, boy. You're going to be excited. We were doing mystical agriculture. Um, Not much more. So, we, we needed rubber wood. So, if you were like me... Oh, it's so beautiful. If you were like me and you could not find rubber wood, here it is, right here, right here. Negative 82, negative 471. Whew. I flew around for so long looking for that. Oh, also our map's working again. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I think we just like flew around forever looking for that stuff. So, whoa, what's going on? Okay, what, what else did we do? Well... What else did we do? We so mystical agriculture in here. We need to fix it a little bit. And we're actually while we're in here, we're gonna turn it off because the frames drop real bad when we come it down here. So we kind of have things set back up again. It's working fine, it's working hunky dory, you know, allegory. But then, oh yeah, you we're gonna have to shut you down. We're gonna shut you down right now. Please. Oh. Whew. So, the farm still is going, which is fine. Less lag now, still a little laggy. But so we have, um, so what we did was we started over here. And so you put the farms, and there's just little, little farm things. They're beautiful, hey? Eh? Uh, all, all of them. This one's empty for some reason. And then, and then all of them. Yep, we've been, so, but the problem is, this is all we need. Like, the, this many farms. So, I'm, And when you put the crystal too close, it does make the dirt, the fertilized soil, freak right the heck out. At this level, it's fine. Because this is only... It's not freaking it out now, but it was. Let's, let's see if I can replicate this situation. Okay? Okay, so what was happening... So, the growth crystal goes up like 10 and up 10 and down 10 or whatever but then if it gets too close to dirt it does this so we obviously don't want that right so what i was thinking ooh, oh so laggy so this will be like our, our way to get resources real quick basically when the camera's off i don't think we're going to do it all the time right so what i'm thinking is maybe this is like three levels here one, two, three. And then I was thinking maybe putting two levels up there. Right? Or even one level. No, we'll put two levels up here. Meaning we'll knock out this level. So it'll look more like this. And then we'll have a crystal there and we'll have a crystal there. And then it'll do the whole, whole tower. Which I'm super happy about. But then, also, what else are we doing? That's it. Well, I think we're going to mess around with this some more. But now we have everything going good. So we have the mystical agriculture stuff coming out. Are you full? No, you're getting emptied. Beautiful. So I love this. Watch this. Watch what's going on. So we put... Yeah. So we put this farming station. It's working fine. Always active. Basically all time. Sure, 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 sure. But then when we go down here, there's actually a little conduit. Power conduit and an item conduit. And we I think we have some speeds on the item conduits, like three speeds. And that's just going right into the dimensional transceiver. 
receiving power on farms, sending items on farms, and every single one is like that. Well, no, we need more dimensional transceivers. But then it's all coming to here. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't know how much power we're using, but I think it's fine. So it's coming out. It's negative eight, so it goes in here basically last. Yeah. And this is all zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then over here is zero as well. So then stuff comes in, so then it tries to dump into the each crafter, which is making all the things. Some stuff we haven't taught it yet. Like we still need slime balls and pork chop and rotten flesh and gas tears. But we're we're on our way. We're on our way. Don't you worry. Right? Don't you worry. And then it's going in here, and then the seeds, and the seeds are getting mid-processed, and then back through. So we got resources like crazy. Like so crazy. In fact, I went into mystical agriculture. Agri... Ag... Ag... Mi hmm? Mystical agriculture. Sure, 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 sure. And I basically just went through and double-checked. So we have eight of each. Like the, the essence... And the seeds and all sorts of business, right? So what... I don't know why. Just because. Just because I was excited to do that. So what should we do? There's a couple of gaps on this side. And you can actually... So whenever you see a gap, we can scroll. So what's the last one? Quartz enriched iron. Quartz enriched. So ender amethyst. Where do we get these? Ender amethyst. All we need is... Let's go turn the quarry on. Because if we turn the quarry on and set the biome... Um, where's my teleportation thing? Oh, we need to change, do the staff at traveling immediately. Um, storage. Also, okay. So we swapped out... Okay, no, we got to keep talking. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on. So we moved our drawers again. Because that's what I like to do is moving them. So we have three drawers for no reason. No reason. I just like the look of having three. I was going to do one big one. I was like, no, I'll make three little ones. They'll look like this and they'll look beautiful. Okay. So they're all just getting dumped into. They have a higher priority than the, the cards. Sure, 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 sure. Everything's happy. Each one of these controller slaves is going to have an ender chest to it. So basically, when stuff comes into the network, it's going to try to dump into... It's going to go into an ender chest, trying to dump into this one, like dump into this one. And then if not, it goes into the next ender chest, this ender chest, into this one, you know, and then it'll just go down the line. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. We're using this as like a beastly storage system. Okay. And then we we're going to auto-process these. That's what these were for. So I was trying to figure out how to turn our reliance off of refined storage because refined storage is causing us all sorts of lags. So then I was looking at storage scanners. Oh boy, storage scanners. They're my favorite. So let's... What the storage scanner does is it can... It'll scan everything in a huge range, right? Well, I don't want to hit scan again because it'll forget these ones. So what we did was we t told the storage scanner, Hey, look out over, the, over 20 blocks and bring me back all the inventories. And then there was a whole bunch of them because all these drawers, right? All Every single drawer, it's like, hey, there's a drawer here, there's a drawer here, there's a drawer here. But we just want it to look at all these c controllers. And then we can look in each controller what's in those drawers. And that one's over there. And then, so now that you have that, we have the storage scanner, okay? Then you take, mm, where are you? This thing, the storage control module... You shift right click it on the scanner. I mean, I can do it right now. Can I actually, will it change? Yeah, it automatically changed. So you take this and you shift right click and you set it to that scanner. Then you put it in there. And now wherever I am, I can use this drawers tablet to access everything in my system. You can search uh, if I want some stone. Oh, that's searching from this one. So we want to look at all of them. See, stone. Beautiful. And it actually shows you where it's finding stuff. So in this drawer control, there's there's no stone. Not Well, nothing that says stone, right? It's beautiful. Another beautiful thing. Check this out. We can look at the creative capacitor bank and put our stuff in there to charge. Look at that. 
See, and then if it can't fit in the drawers, it can't go in. Huh? Beautiful. Look at our charged stuff now. Well, how can I, why can I access it? Well, that's fine. Doesn't matter. I'm cool with this. But then, yeah, so now I can like throw in, oh, our battery. Let's throw in our battery. Oh, and it's, oh, it's charging up and it's charged. Beautiful. So anywhere you want. So this, honestly, and it's super cheap. So some quartz, some redstone, this storage control thing, super, super cheap. The storage scanner, the scanner's really cheap. What you want to do though is you want to infuse it, because I think this thing costs, right now for us, it costs 20 RF a tick to run. No. Yes. 20, I think. Well, let's, let's figure it out. So and then we have that one too. So watch this. So we're going to max output off. So it's no, no, that's all right. Max input off. So we are losing because this scanner is scanning all this stuff. And then this remote storage, what you do is you, you make, so you make yourself a storage bad boy, right? Easy peasy, right? And then it's called a remote storage, remote storage. You want to infuse it too. Again, really, really cheap. And then so you slap in the storage module in that one. And then you make a remote storage module. So then you link the remote storage module to this. So this is where my items are sitting. In fact, there's 81 somethings on this remote module. But then you put this remote storage module in there. Then you put it in your tablet. And then wherever I am, I can access the stuff that's on here. So one bag to rule them all. One and you can have 300 things. So 300 stacks or 300 individual things. And then you can always search. You're like, oh, I want a wand. We don't have any wands. We want a watering can. Look at that. See? Easy peasy. But now here's the thing. This thing can't really auto craft for, to save its life. It can kind of auto craft. Like say I want, uh, say I want stairs. We go over here. Uh, so we got to click. Make sure you click off this, because if, you, if you're if you on that and you come down here, get out of here, yellow. If I type in stairs, that's where it gets typed. So what you do is you have to, if that's there, you click off of it, and then you go down here, and then it says stair. Beautiful. Uh, star, go to stairs. So let's make some, uh, let's make some uh, uh, brick stairs. Shift. And then it has a little crafting thing over here. How many bricks do we have? We have enough, so I'm just going to make one. Bam. One recipe. Bam. Pulls it right out of the system. As well, uh, let us... Nether brick. Nether brick. Okay. So there's 118 in there. There's a hundred. There's 64 in here. If we... You on this. And we say... Uh, give me this. So, nether brick. Look where it pulls from first. Oh, it's beautiful. So you can even, even though we don't even have to use that as a recipe. So watch this. Check this out. So those can go in the system. What should we build? Um, probably nothing. I'm just trying to think. You can use this even though we, like, you can use this as a crafting table. As long as you have the items in your inventory. And as well, check this out. If we do drill, if you hover over it, it'll tell you what you're missing. Oof. So at the very least, this is kind of like an awesome mid-ish game thing. So I was thinking, how are we going to auto-craft? There is an auto-crafting system, but it's so slow. Oh, goodness, it's so slow. It's the slowest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. It's so slow. So then I was thinking, maybe we keep stuff stocked, right? So we tell it, hey, you know, have have like downgrade stacks on it and then have crafted you know stuff that we're probably going to want to have right and then you just have the crafters and then you say oh hey make these things output so it remembers so now now nothing can so is four four recipes four things and then try to fill up the drawers and then that could be an option because then whenever we look at our drawers tablet we'll constantly have you know stacks of furnaces and stuff like that that's what i was thinking so now came the process of figuring out because then then whenever we have something that okay so let's get a chest up in this bad boy 
So something that involves a chest, right? Can we U on you? No? Chest? So something that involves a chest, we can be like, see, we're going to be able to make this recipe no problem. We're not missing anything because it has chests automatically made. Or, I mean, it's really easy to just do that. But then there's a lot of shift clicking, so we didn't want to do that, right? So we were going to go with a long process of figuring it out. Until, until I thought, you know what, maybe it's not, maybe, maybe it's not the, the, the refined storage's fault. Maybe it was reborn storage's fault. So we got rid of our reborn storage block, swapped all these crafters, swapped the, the big reborn storage multi-block to a bunch of crafters. The reason why, the reason why I made room is so we can put like speed upgrades on here. So there, so now we're gonna have this big network of reborn of uh, refined storage crafters, and see if that works. You know, worst case scenario, I just made a cra bunch of crafters for no reason. <sighs> so reborn storage is the thing that's causing us problems. So I I swapped it all out. Now look at this. No lag. Well, okay, less lag. I mean, it still has to access the whole network. So, a little bit, I mean, it's still got a little bit, but that's, that's acceptable. Being able to bounce around from inventory to inventory, right? A little bit faster? Ugh. At the very least, it's much better than RF tools. No, sorry, RF tools, but you're not very good. What were we doing? We kind of showed off what, what I've been doing. We have a little, little infuser here. So, what are we doing? Oh, we were doing mystical agriculture stuff. Oh, we were doing ender thing. Oh, biomarker, do we have one for end? We don't, which means it's in the system. Which means we need a flux plug. Beautiful. Oh, it's so much better now. Oh, so don't use reborn storage. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. That's that's what I'm saying about that. The end? Perfect. So we should hopefully So we're not using RF tools anymore. But we still I mean we could still use the drawers tablet. Okay, and now here's the other thing. So this is super ranged. We can go wherever we want and still access all of our drawers. So for building blocks, pff, beautiful. For crafting, pff, beautiful. Tool bag, obviously, definitely. But then we still want to do a wireless grid thing so we can access our network, maybe? But again, only when we're in the base. Or we could put little little controllers everywhere. But still, I'm, I'm really happy with this, this thing. So we are going to look at end. So we're getting a bunch of end stone, right? End stone, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Why is there end essence in here? There shouldn't be. Okay, so what were we looking for? It was that amethyst, mystic. Okay, so we want to make ender amethyst, which requires ender amethyst. Is there any other way to make Ender Amethyst? No, we need Ender Amethyst ore. We need it. So, and oh jeez. This is the one I want to make now. It's not going to tell me? That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to send this back through the system. Get out of my life. So once we get some Ender Amethyst, we can craft it up. But let's maybe, let's do another one real quick. Because at least, oh, teleport, just teleport everywhere. Jeez, you butt. What else we got? So, it, uh, if you're high on resources, you can just do this like crazy. Because then you can just, you know, to, to make conductive iron seeds, it's conductive iron and intermedium. And we have so much essence, so don't even worry about it. But if you're lower on essence, if you don't want to break the bank, aquamarine, star metal, rock crystal, so probably not on those. So something after aluminum brass, 
Night slime, we can do night slime, but that's going to take a, a second, so maybe we don't do night slime. Iridium, no. Titanium, no. What else we got? Uh, we can do a mob one. So let's do a mob one. Let's do gas tears. Oh, we should do prismarine shard. Um, no, let's do cow. Let's do cow. Let's see if we have the uh, the mob stuff for it. We can teleport, but we keep forgetting. That's fine. That's fine. So here's how we do it. We go cow essence. We need cow chunks. Cow chunks are made via this. Do we have tier two mob chunks? We don't. Mob chunk. Can we make mob chunks? So we need four. So it's using our tier one mob chunks, which is fine. So bam. So we need more raw beef. No, I guess we can do chicken. Should we do chicken? Um, that's a terrible idea, but I mean, we can have chicken. Sure. So we need to go get some mob chunks. We need to go get some mob chunks like real bad. Real bad. So let's do, let's do chicken. No, yeah, let's do chicken. Right, because then we can make eggs and stuff. Because we can use chicken essence to do all sorts of things. So chicken essence, chicken chunks. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Chicken essence, chicken seeds, prudentium. So we need tier crafting seeds. So tier two crafting seeds. Bam. Beautiful. Pop you in there. And we get one. Okay. So here's how it's kind of a fire and forget system. What we want to do is we want to put wherever we're automatically making so many of them real fast. So we're going to, we're going to place it down here, but we don't, the essence is going to flip right out, right? The essence is just going to go, actually the essence is probably going to go in here and the seeds are going to go in here because they don't have a place yet because we don't have anything to sort it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put seeds, the chicken seeds in here so that any time, what can we get rid of? What should we get rid of? What do we have a lot of? Constantan? Yeah, let's get rid of Constantan. Don't care about it. So we're going to put the chicken there. We can even fire that back up. But every single time that chicken essence grows and gets harvested, there's a chance for it to make some seeds, right? So then, all you have to do... That, that's how we are able to double this up so fast. Is just put them in there and forget about them. And then eventually, every once in a while, I'll come back here and there'll be two chicken seeds in there. Well, then you plant them. Then you come back and there'll be five chicken seeds in there, in here. And you plant them. And then you have a bunch. So it really saves on, on seeds and stuff. So that's beautiful. But that's probably what we're going to do for the day. And we're going to wait for ender stuff, right? You know what we still need to do? Get our staff of traveling fixed. Because I, I want it better. So we're going to do that next episode, right? So thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow with me, your favorite monkey smash keys. And, um... Have a nice day.